My name is Matt Williams and my book is Wicked Good Food. Wicked Good Food is a food book more than a cookbook. Sure, it's a collection of recipes, but each of the recipes comes with an anecdote about where the recipe came from, who I may have stolen it from, or who I collaborated with when I made it. There's also a bunch of different food quotes from people as far ranging as Escoffier to Miss Piggy. There's a full glossary in the back and a bunch of chef tips to help you with things that might not necessarily be explained in the recipe. The target audience is really people who already enjoy cooking because there's a lot of fun recipes that you can make look sexy pretty easily with stuff that you can get at your grocery store. But also it's people who are a little new to the kitchen and that might be a little bit intimidated. And it really sets a very laid back tone for them. And that it is just food. You're making it to please yourself, you're making it to please your family, whoever you might be cooking for, and it's not that big of a deal. People get too worked up about food. It's just food, and you can play with it, and that's okay. When someone reads the book, I hope they'll actually sit down and read it cover to cover, because I think there's that much interesting story that goes along with all the recipes. But I also hope that they'll open it up and start cooking a little bit, and enjoy the process of cooking, not just the final result that cooking shouldn't be a burden. Hopefully it can be something that can be enjoyed the entire process through. I made two dishes today to show off. One of them is a haddock and papillote. So it's a piece of nice fresh Atlantic haddock that has some fresh basil and fresh tomatoes on top and it's wrapped up in parchment paper and baked. But it actually ends up steaming itself. Real quick, real healthy dish. And the other one is a little appetizer, but it's a crostini with sliced beef tenderloin and some caramelized onions and some herbed goat cheese on top. I would like people to be more relaxed about cooking at home. I feel like people are a slave to the recipe. They need to follow the recipe exactly every time. And that's true with baking. You want to make sure that you're exactly right on because it's science. But there's a lot more art that goes into cooking a savory meal than science. And so play around with the ingredients. You need to learn some key concepts and some techniques and know about your ingredients. But use the recipe as a framework, but make it suit you.